Well, this is what we're installing this morning. RGF. Remy Halo. Um, it's a pretty simple install. It should only take maybe 45 minutes to an hour. It's kind of a tight spot. I don't know if I'm going to put it here or if I'm going to put it back there and move the sensor for the furnace. This is a Ream 13 stage. Uh, I don't know. I think the thing's about 10 years old. Yeah, four, low seven, this thing was put in, so. Um, depends on if I can get it cut there. I don't know if I'll be able to get it cut in there. They got all this line set and piping there. So, let's get into it. We got. Board. Instructions, very important. Foam sealer. You can never understand what this is for, so. And we got some wire notes that come in the box. separates from that and you just put this in and then you snap this on right there. I'll show you that. And then uh, transformer, multi-volt transformer. So we'll put the transformer in so it runs all the time. It's got power all the time. And then we will uh, it's a real simple install. Cut a hole, slide everything together, run your power to it, and you're good. You want constant power to this thing. You want it running all the time, even when uh, even when the fan's off. So, all right, let me get into it. Figure out where I'm going to put it. With this newer RGF compared to the old one. This has an adjustable. You can adjust the amount of ozone or uh, yeah, let's say ozone. You can adjust the sleeve depending on how much you want. So it adjusts back and forth. This one's a little. It's not exactly formed right, so I'm having a hard time adjusting it. So. But it is adjustable. You undo that screw and you slide the slide up and down. For some reason, I'm having a hard time with it. But let me get it open. Now, if you look, now it's completely closed. And I gotta slide it down to open it up. There, now I got it all the way open. I just gotta tighten that screw up and it'll lock it in place. So there's my hole. Put it right there. That's gonna slide in right here. And that's the way I'll mount, just like this. Just like that. Three screws. One, two, three. And then what you do is you take that other main head unit slide it in there and you'll actually turn it to lock it in place and then comes in contact with uh, I don't even know what this is honestly oh there it comes in contact with that right here that's probably power pack or something Okay, so that's mounted. Let me just take this, slide around in there, line up, line up here, here, and up top there. There, 
that's lined up, that's lined up, twist and you're done. All we gotta do is run my power from here. I gotta install my transformer in the furnace and then uh, we'll be powered up. So let me run my wire. And here we are, we got our, put my transformer right here. Tied into my power off the board from my other transformer. So it's got constant power. It is a multi-volt transformer, so I connected. It says, come in for 120 volts, black and white. So I got my black, my white hooked up. I wired up my other ones off. My secondary, doesn't matter which wire's which. I had to extend the wire because my uh, wire that came with the unit only ran day about here. It's way up there. So, now we got this thing, uh, let's, uh, let's get some power to this thing and she's off to the races and that's it for installing one of these. in the ductwork here. You can actually see what's going on. Okay. Hold on, hold on. We're going in through the humidifier here. And you can see right there. It's inside the ductwork. And you can actually, you can smell it. Ooh! So, yeah, that's it. Nothing to install in these. these are, this is a 24 volt model. I'm not sure if they used to make a 110 volt model of this. I don't know if they still do. Or you just plug it in over there. But, uh, that's it for this one guys uh, just a simple RGF install and uh, something you should uh, make your customers aware about for you know cold flu virus you know kind of helps prevent all those and you put it above the coil and prevents mold on the coil Alright guys, like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.